Is PayPal stock massively undervalued? Is it trading at a huge discount and shouldn't be trading so low? How would you know? First, if you look right now, and the more I research, the more I, I think it's massively undervalued. Right now, it's expected to earn about $4.94 per share on a $62 stock. That would put it at a 12 price to earnings, a 12 PE. If you look at the S&P, it's around 17. So just on that, those facts alone, you you might think yes, and and I and I do. But on top of that, it's growing. It's not a flat company. Let's look at the expectations. Analysts, not me, analysts are expecting 19, 15, 13, as high as 21 year over year percentage growth, which means the company is expected to grow over time. The $5 it's earning expected forward $5, 494 this year, is supposed to quadruple in a decade, nine years, to $21 a share. So even if it keeps the same multiple, which is 12 on the low side, and it does pan out to $21 a share, it's going to be a higher price in, in 10 years. Now, I've been looking for a story, a story to make this more clear. And let me jump into the images of my day old bread story. So. Imagine a bakery and when they come out with their hot bread, everybody wants it, especially in the morning. Everybody wants hot bread out of the oven. It's delicious. You know, a lot of people just go to the bakery for that hot bread. As time goes on, the bread is no longer fresh. It's no longer exciting. So the day old bread, in order to move that bread, it gets discounted just to get rid of it because it's going to go stale. Aren't stocks the same way? Isn't there a period when certain stocks are more exciting, more enthusiastically priced, and then we kind of move on to something else? Is AI the hot bread? Is AI the hot bread? Because look at this, this is a Google Trends, and the interest in AI or anything AI related right now is through the roof. It's breaking out. So are companies like PayPal, are they the day old bread? They're just not as exciting. People are thinking there's more competition. There's the FedNow coin. There's Apple Pay. There's a lot more concern versus enthusiasm. But mathematically, this might be a wonderful opportunity for a company like PayPal when you look at these numbers. Could it be the Apple 2008 mathematically? Let me let me tell you why. Apple in 2006 and 7 had a lot of hype because the iPhones were coming out. But then when we went into a recession, they really crushed Apple. And on a price to free cash flow and a price to sales, it was cheap. It was in line with the market. Uh, it ended up going to something like a 15 PE, but look at the price to sales went to two and change and the price to free cash flow was eight. So Apple was making money, but people were selling it really aggressively. And then it, it ended up growing for 15 years at about 20% annual growth. And now it's not only bigger, but it's also more highly valued. Is, is something like that in the cards for PayPal or is it even possible? Switching over to the PayPal chart, at one point, PayPal was hot, fresh out of the oven bread. 
uh, a lot of stocks were. There was a little bit of a bubble. It was trading, it looks like, 15 times sales and 50, 60 times, maybe even 80 times free cash flow. And things have really cooled down quite a bit. So now it's it might be day-old bread. But it's also financially attractively priced. At least that's what I think in my opinion. I can't recommend it for you, but that's just what it looks like. Here's a video of how the Earth moves relative to the Sun and how they both move in space. And this is how I think of valuation, right? Co companies that are going to grow, they grow, but then there's different valuations, like high and low valuations. And those are the opportunities that we want to look at. Stocks aren't day old bread. You can keep them for a long time. And if you get them at a good value and they grow, well, that's that's the like the holy grail. That's the whole point of investing in stocks. So I'm going to leave you with that image. Let me know if you disagree. If you think it's PayPal might be getting cheaper, if AI stocks are even a better opportunity, uh, let me know, and we'll just discuss it. That's what we're we're trying to do. We're just trying to have a community where we discuss financial concepts. Cheers.